We begin tonight with breaking news in Butler County, a verdict in a sex abuse case involving a local gym teacher. Austin Hopkins is guilty of molesting dozens of young children. Tessa DeTiro has been in the Warren County courtroom all day. She's joining us now live and Tessa, it took jurors 11 hours to reach this verdict. It did, Kyle. They had a lot of evidence to comb through in this case. They found John Austin Hopkins guilty on 34 counts of gross sexual imposition. He was facing 36 of those counts. Tensions were high in the courtroom as the verdict was read. The 28 first grade girls that this case centered around, their family stayed to hear that verdict read. They were emotional as that was happening. And Hopkins' family was there too, and they were emotional as well. <laughs> Austin Hopkins, you're my son. You will always be my son. We'll get all that. Austin, we love you and we know you didn't do it. That's true. We love you, We love you so much. In closing arguments this morning, the state says Hopkins actions are just side hugs and high fives are not just side hugs and high fives like he claims. The defense says Hopkins is a high functioning autistic and didn't know that these actions were inappropriate. Hours worth of surveillance video like we talked about shows Hopkins placing girls on his lap, nuzzling them, touching under their shirts and wrapping them around him. It was a long year as families endured interviews, and even the young girls testifying and parents testifying in this case. My impression is it's an overall impression of, re impression of relief that we've gotten through this step of the process. Certainly, I think most of them would have liked to have gone straight to sentencing tonight and, and have this matter behind them entirely and, and work on trying to move forward uh, with the issues that every one of them is going to have from here on out, trusting people. Judge Robert Peeler has not sent, sent, set John Austin Hopkins sentencing yet. He did say there will be no pre-sentence investigation, but he would like a mental check on Hopkins. He is in state custody tonight. In Warren County, Tessa D. Tiro, Local 12 News, back to you in the studio. All right, Tessa, thank you so much.